This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with an awesome Christmas gift. Optimus Prime G1 KO, of course. Uh, or else that box wouldn't be, you know, this mint. And that's a Christmas gift for uh, our family gift exchange. Basically, my sister-in-law picked me. And, well, to tell you the truth, my wife already had got this toy from me uh, so i ordered it gave it to her and she sold it to uh, her sister for the christmas exchange and that's an, i've never owned a g1 optimus prime and then you can see here the beautiful mark watts artwork and then you have my boy sign streaker right here so happy and he's worth four points you know that's awesome and then the tech specs and everything I'm I've never owned this my friend had it and it was missing pieces and but when I saw this on Aliexpress I just could not resist my wife actually the way it happened is I checked it and I'm like oh man I really want that and she's like oh that would be a great uh, toy exchange gift I'm like Duh. so yeah now that I recall that's how it happened and since I kind of knew I already had that coming I have the Toy Hacks decal. So this will be a complete G1 review plus Toy Hacks decals. You can see the original stickers here and um, I'm not gonna apply that. So they're for sale or you know, if you want uh, uh, KO stickers, let me know. So yeah, thanks for stopping by guys. It's way too late for me to shoot a review. So I'm tired, but I wanna do it cause I wanna open it and have a fresh take on it. And uh, Everybody went to bed, so might as well do something uh, interesting. Uh, so thanks for coming by. And I will remind you to check out my voice acting playlist. Again, I do that every video. I'm super proud of what I've uh, done for the voice acting uh, spotlight stuff. Also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything transformed. And now let's roll the intro. I'm excited. I've never opened a box like this before. And just the fact that it's packed in styrofoam brings me back 40 years. Uh, God, I'm happy to have this. So it's a KO, and from what I understand, basically, you can tell because the F should be further down. So trans and informers from here. And I heard something about the gray area that's not the same on the original package. If you want a complete guide, check with uh, Bird the Stormtrooper. He knows this stuff. Beautiful Mark Watts artwork. Box art is fantastic. I mean, you have Hound and Trailbreaker here. Sunstreaker, Prowl, Sideswipe. This guy? Who the hell is this guy? I don't know. You have Bumblebee, Optimus Prime. Starscream, Soundwave, Laserbeak. Up here you have Ravage. Or parts of Ravage. And then I guess you have another Seeker. Oh no, that's just uh, Starscream transforming. And then you have uh, what looks like to be Megatron right here. So yeah, love this artwork. I did a spotlight on him. It's not very popular, but you know, check it out. And now I'm gonna... It's cool because you have the instructions here. And honestly, I didn't get... All I had when I was a kid was the mini bots. So I... There wasn't any instructions with them. And then this... I always thought this was the instruction. But there's an actual instruction sheet in there. So, yeah. I'm gonna open this up. It's a KO, so it's a little ripped. Right here. It happens. Alright, let's pull this out. Ah, man, there's already, already white stuff on my review table so we're gonna take that away this this looks fun this looks real fun oh yeah the sticker i guess i should take the stickers out anyway 
So what do you get in the little envelope? You get all the stickers and you get the uh, the instructions and the uh, cell red cellophane stuff. So where where's the part where you can open it? There you go. Oh, the rub symbol. Now this I will keep. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of um, defective. It doesn't work everywhere. So I just actually for this guy, I actually might order a set from Toy Hacks. Yeah, it doesn't work really properly. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. Let me see if I can zoom on that. Ah, there you go. You barely see it. So anyway, yeah, I'm probably not going to use that. I'm going to order a set from Toy Axe as well. You have the, uh, you know, uh, bumper decals uh, and all the other decals, which I'm not going to use. So, oh, and there's not that many. So Toy Hacks does give you more decals. So yeah, this is not going to be used, but if anybody wants them, send me a message on Facebook. First one to message me gets it. And you have the red cellophane for the tech spec. And of course, Optimus has some awesome specs. High intelligence, not he's not that quick. I can't believe they said firepower is not 10. This guy could shoot, man. He could shoot. And the instructions. Uh, oh, it shows you all the inside oh that's a picture of the gray roller i have the blue one and my friends had the blue one so i really wanted to have a blue one um because the gray one is more cartoon accurate you know what i don't own a gray one i all i have is blue anyway all the accessory this is so cool and then transformation in few is it steps and then you have the assembly for the trailer and where to put the stickers but i'll refer to toy hacks for those now this sprues for the missiles for the all right so all right take that out so you have the gun so is that a sprue, like a leftover sprue? I guess, I think I can safely take that out, but I don't know. Um, oh, the hose is here. Very, oh man, it's some cheap tape and it's dirty and uh, I don't like that. Gonna have to wash that off, all right. Well, that's the last of uh, what you'll see for now about that thing. Maybe I'll clean it in uh, a moment. But right now, I'm just gonna finish shooting the assembly of Optimus Prime. I'm gonna take my sprues. Oh, well, these you probably can just twist off, yeah. Roller wheels, and then you have the missiles. I'm only gonna pluck one out. Uh, how many? Well, we'll see. You know what, I'll wait, okay. Uh, this goes with the hose, so it connects the roller. And then I have the fist. There you go. Ah, uh, just how I remember them. They look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm super happy. All right, so I'm guessing, yeah, this peels off quite nicely. There you go. Keep saying peel, I don't know if that's the right word. All right, which way do these go? I'm gonna guess this way. Yep. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> now the question is, are those rubber tires on Prime? This is all plastic. And... Rolls fine. Ah, oh, beautiful. Gorgeous things. All right. So uh, I'm going to move this on the side. Now the trailer. 
Uh, is it plugged in? It is plugged in. So, there we go. Ah, styrofoam. You know, I understand why they stopped using it though. Like it's bad for the environment, environment and stuff. Yeah, there's a certain nostalgic charm to it. All right, let me clean that up. Uh, clean his back. All right, off camera. I'll be right back. Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers. He's not even stickered up, and he looks ten times better than a couple figures I got recently. So I'm excited. All right, let's let's do the cab for uh, the trailer first. So, standard G1, made in Japan, Takara, they even have the stamp 1980-1982, so I'm just saying that's a pre-Transformers, uh, but it's, and it's heavy, you know, there's a good weight to it, I mean, the quality of these KO is freaking amazing, I remember that symbol here, so that's cool, man, there's styrofoam everywhere, all right, uh, Sticker is misaligned, so that's cool. I'm gonna have to toy hacks this. It's been grossly misaligned. Uh, you have the trailer. All right, so what I'll do is I'll do the full tour review, and then after that, I'll do the decals. It's gonna take forever. If I find it's too long, I'll do the toy hacks in a separate video. So these extend just fine. So you never had the movie, uh, the the cartoon where the, you know, pegs came out. It was always those little things here. Works fine. Trailer opens up fine. I'm being attacked by styrofoam. Let me pull the camera back. There you go. So you have. Oh, 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 oh. this is awesome. Oh man. I love this thing. So you have, like there's stickers here, so if Toy Hacks has replacement sticker, I'll warm this up, peel it off, and you know, do uh, a proper, uh, uh, you know, decal uh, installment, because th these are a little misaligned. There's the Diaclone station here, that's cool. I forgot that he had that. You have the spring mechanism for roller. Uh, where's the button? Oh, there it is. Okay, well, let's test that out. You have roller. Oh, so roller doesn't clip. He just sits there and then... Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, man, I love this. And this is the greatest trailer accessory ever. It's so cool to have a complete, um, not even repair drone, but it's like, like a firing station. You have the Diaclone seat right here. Hey, wait. Oh, man, guess what? Ah, he's too big. Man, I thought I found the perfect seat for Chip. That's from the Masterpiece. Oh, man, I wish he was just a bit shorter. Ah, that would have been so cool. All right, and then you have this, and this is awesome. And if you compare it with uh, the Earthrise trailer, or just the drone, the drone is not accurate. You know, I thought it was. You have the missiles uh, port here, which, you know, don't even fit a blast effect. And then you have two claws. So that's not representative. But if you saw in my Core Class Optimus Prime and Bumblebee video, he has that. Uh, so 100% preferring this nice, Smooth sides everywhere, nice ramp. Love the plastic, the steel plate. There's a bit of a blemish here, so that's KO quality for you. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, you have the base. There's a little bit of dirt here, so I'm gonna have to wash that off. Uh, right here. And then you have the this moves. And if I recall correctly, now it's like this, you can have this but it doesn't go backward. So that's an option, or you could do it like this. And that does it a hundred times better than the Earthrise uh, mold. So, yep, loving this. 
and then you can have the full repair bay mode like that if you want god this is fun and now well let's put that to the side let's do optimus prime himself and uh yeah oh man i'm excited uh smokestacks nice chrome you have the chrome on the fuel tank rubber wheels rolls fine ah uh, there's yeah of course there's gonna be styrofoam and some paper i don't know that's paper or or is it anyway i'll have to clean that up but man it looks good it's it's a little floppy and i think i remember the uh g1 prime being that floppy of course now you don't have the decals for it and i mean for a ko he cleans up real nice i mean he does it's not bad at all all right uh you have the back cleans up super nice you have the little mechanism here that you see I mean, you, but you barely see robot parts there's no seats i in my mind there was always seats and transformers but uh, i guess there isn't uh you have this for the fist uh, or just the headlights, the nice grill. One door hacks decal I wish they would do is uh, trust being reflected in the grill, just like in the movie. That would be cool. Hey, maybe they'll include that in the Studio Series 86 uh, Optimus Prime that's coming. So, all right, um, underneath cleans up real nice, and you can see the mechanism for the legs. It's Quite interesting, we don't have that anymore. And there's springs. Oh man, this is good engineering for the time. Absolutely. And now something I rarely do, transformation. Simple enough, you push those fo uh, forward. And, ah, there's a slight issue on this side. It's not going, ah, so we won't be able to stand. This one's fine. I guess that's KO quality for you. Uh, I'll have to check if I can take this apart and move it properly. Hopefully, can I stand it? Nope. Well, I can stand it like that. I, I'm a little disappointed, but maybe it's just that I have to shave yeah, I see where the problem is. It's not going this side enough. And now... Is it? There you go. I just have to be careful with it. It just... The, the peg doesn't clip properly on the back. But that's cable quality for you. So... Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, the arms. Like this. Very smooth. Then you have this where you would hide the you have, uh, the fists. And then you turn, ah, oh, that beautiful face. Beautiful Optimus Prime face. And then you take the fists, put it in there. And you have the gun, a little loose. But overall looks fantastic. I mean, I'm disappointed with the leg. I'll see if I can do something about that. But I mean, he's able to stand. That's good. I wonder if there's eyes decals for this guy because they look a little dull, but it looks good. I mean, that's the face, that's the head sculpt. That's the arms, you know, all red with the, the fist. And there's no you know, waist rotation to have a full grill. That's the grill. And this part is still die cast. Uh, and so are, well, it's pretty much it from what I can feel of die cast. Just the, uh, the top part here. But man, I'm happy to have this. All right. Uh, well, yeah, I guess he won't stand for a while. Uh, but there's a good chance that I display this guy in truck mode because that's what I really liked when I was a kid. Maybe the arm, 
that was always a thing you know the gun didn't hold properly because of the extra part here so yeah oh man i'm so happy to have this thing it's freaking great Let's do some size comparison. So here is G1 Optimus Prime with Walmart reissue Bumblebee and has a little cartoon sloppy decals. And you know what? I might get one for him. 2008 maybe? 2009? I don't know. Uh, classics Optimus Prime uh, with a rub symbol. Always forget that he has that. And for a while that was the greatest Optimus Prime that we've had. Um, it's a really good mold. It's a solid figure. And when I did a transformation video of this guy, I got like almost 10,000 views, like 9.9. .9. I was so surprised. And Earth Rives Optimus Prime, which to me, this is the best so far cartoon accurate Optimus Prime with toy hacks decals that make him a little more toy accurate. So, you know, just, just a bit. I really like the uh, Earth Rives mold and now I'm going to be one of those that says that we don't really need a Optimus Prime from the Studio Series 86, but after what they did with Ultra Magnus, it's going to be hard to say no. All right, so that concludes the toy review. So I'm going to go apply the Toy Hanks decals and I'll uh, complete the uh, review. Attack the Autobot Commander! Call in the Decepticon leader! Transformers! More than meets the eye! The Transformers! Well, this part is going to be quicker than expected because I really thought there was going to be more decals and then I opened the envelope and it's uh, just the basic stuff with a couple additions. So basically I removed the original here that was misaligned and added the Toy Hacks version and it looks real good. Uh, same thing on the other side and then the cab. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do the cab afterwards. Um, there you go. So they didn't add anything like they did with the Earthrise stuff here or a license plate or anything like that. But on the inside, uh, you do get plenty of stuff. Oh uh, yeah, I cleaned up the uh, hose for uh, roller, so now it's all nice and clean. Uh, but basically what you do get, uh, and they don't show you where the place, like they show you where but not which one, so it's really up to you. So. Uh, there's the go here, there's that little thing here, and then uh, on the spring-loaded mechanism thing, you have uh, three dots. Um, I don't know exactly know what they are supposed to represent. I've replaced this decal and this decal with the Toy Hacks version. When I peeled the originals, like holy crap, it really felt cheap. It did. I, same thing for the exterior decals, like it was pretty lame. Um, they tell you that you can add one here, one here, uh, you have plenty of decals here and this basically you can arrange any way you want, right? Uh, there's some in the back. I've actually added a Toy Hacks uh, logo here, uh, just for the fun of it. And on the other side, you have, uh, looks to be Bumblebee, maybe? And I'm trying to get the light to shine on it. And it's not working. There you go. And you have the others, uh, the other decals. So uh, it looks good. I mean, I, the trailer looks classic enough. And then for Optimus Prime, there's uh, no real decal just for the, the cab. Uh, it's mostly for the robot mode. So I'm going to transform him again for everybody's pleasure. I'm gonna leave the fist out for a while, and I haven't found a, a fix for my issue here for the uh, the leg, but uh, eventually I might. Uh, but what you do get is a, a logo for the shoulder here. You have a silver stripe, so you have a small triangle here. Uh, one stripe that you have to peel around, and then this one here, you're gonna peel all the way to the back because they're not cut so and if you want to cut them that's your thing and then you have one here and then you have another triangle right here uh, and then you have the forearms totally forgot that you used to have forearms decal so looks really good classic you have the knee decal right here and the toe here and that's pretty much it for 
robot decals. So I think this is where I'm gonna stop it. I don't want to make it too long. This is by far, it's been a pleasure and a thrill to open a, a G1 Prime. I never had it, even if it was a, a KO. Uh, this was fun. It brought me uh, to my uh, six year old days. I loved it. And the fact that it's complete, uh, that it's not, you know, quality is still good except that one leg. So not too worried about that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.